That's right. A lot of cards could have gone very well. Oh, I, about I saw your hand. You saw someone's hand? Seven. I saw Wesley's hand. I haven't looked at my hand. I, I know what you have. I, <laughs> it's a weird spot. 30. I'm just gonna. Well, if you're gonna play, then. I fold, I fold. Just, I, I'm. Oh, switch, 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 switch. You already did. I know what you have. Sure. I know what you have. Seen it already. What? Sorry. 30 to go right uh, now. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> 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 I know. Say, you know what? Thank you. <laughs> you, know what? You, you. You make a good point. You make a good point. I don't think he understands. So raised from Hank, a three bet from Wesley. How funny would it be if Doug's like, I, I, I know Wesley's hand, and then he just like, if he's like, I haven't looked, and he just mucks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really. <laughs> don't know what Dwan has, but Dwan, who just got bluffed. Is going to four bet. No, but do you have a the, the yellow card? Never lost it. How about Rob? Nice. Rob, do you have a Rob? Do you have a button? No. Do you have one? No. no. Okay. No. Oh, three people left. <laughs> now this hand is weird for a couple of reasons. One, we're playing stand-up game. Two, the whole thing with Doug Polk saying, I saw your hand. So a three bet from Wesley to 30,000. Tom Dwan, who according to DGAF earlier has been playing a pretty low variant style, has decided to four bet to 100,000. And these players are deep. And Doug is watching because he knows what Wesley has, and Wesley has just five bet to 275,000. Action back over to Dewan. $387,000 in the pot. It's one seventy-five for Dwan to call. Again, we don't know what Dwan has. Small blind takes like a minute and a half. Limps. <laughs> Big blind takes a minute and a half. Min raises. <laughs> blind plays the same way to the river. River, finally the guy bets. Small blind bets. Big guy uses like two time shit. <laughs> Calls, top pair of tie. It was just like, I'm just like, no, I'm not coming. I'm not playing more tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those come to London because I've got my 200,000 tournament. Are they invitation or anything? I thought those come to shot clocks now, though. Yeah, they were using their shot clocks. The point was, even with the shot clocks, they were just like, exactly the maximum amount of time they were going to use. I need all you guys. Oh, they're like max. Duane on the left side of your screen, Wesley on the right side. Invitation. Invitation. This is good and pro. $250,000 buy in. One re entry allowed. Pounds? And there's the call from Dwan. If you're not watching, come back to your screen right now. Over half a million dollars in the pot. We haven't seen a flop yet. Eight, eight, three, two diamonds out there. Wesley does have the ace of diamonds. Normally a pro will offer like a 5% free roll or something, that's a deal. So it's just a full pros in business then. You paid a million pounds, I paid a million pounds. Uh, but I don't, I mean, starting everyone... Duan started the hand with about 1.5 million. Wesley has him covered. Oh, you know what they should do? Oh, they should just... Except for bank of pros are in there. Rex, those guys are good. Never leave the poker room. You know what they should do? They should just play like businessmen and amateurs, or and pros, separately, all the way down to a final table each, and then combined at like two tables and redraw and they play How it much out. Maybe they can play them longer, yeah. I, I think guys, this is a really big pot. I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. About one, two, five. Wesley just asked Dwan how much he had behind, and that got the whole table quiet.
Wesley bets 125,000. Whatever Dwan called with pre-flop, I can't imagine him folding on an 883 board to a $125,000 bet. 125? 125. That's what he bet? That is the bet. There's the call from Duan. Pot now, 812,000. Duan with about 1.1 million behind. Turn a blank. Wesley's hands are shaking. And it looks like he is loading up for another bet. Remember, Doug Polk knows what Wesley has. Tom Dwan, though, does not. Three hundred and fifty thousand over to Duan. Pot has got one point two million in it. The table has not been this quiet for four days. 1.2 million in there already. If Duan calls this. We'll have one of the biggest pots we've ever seen. And still a river to come. And there's the call. The river's a six. Wesley with just ace high. Check. Duan checks it one more time. All in. There's the all in. He said all in? He said all in. For sure? Well, I guess. He said all in. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get a water. <laughs> Pot has got 2.3 million in there. Wesley is just triple barreled with ace king. What the fuck? Doug saw his hand. This is a weird fucking hand. Doug saw his hand, try to talk him out of three betting. Three bet anyway. Mm. 
I mean, I guess he just flopped an eight, but it seems very hard to fold. Oh! I'm gonna feel dumb when you roll over like eight, seven suited or some shit. Maybe nine, seven suited. What the fuck? Tom Dwan has been part of some of the biggest hands in poker history, and once again, he is here on our stage. Just under 800,000 to call. We've got 2.3 million in the pot. You could just have the aces. It just doesn't seem like you have the aces. I'm gonna feel dumb if you do. From everything Dwan is talk saying, it sounds like he has kings. What the fuck? Look at the size of that pot. What the fuck? Feels like you just flopped to fucking trips. Five bets pre-flop. Wesley bet the flop, bet the turn, and has moved all in on the river. We've got 2.3 million in there. Feels like you're just flopping fucking trips, huh? He's got queens. There's the call! Hey, call? Call. Tom Dwan has just won the biggest pot in the history of televised poker. $3.1 million to Tom Dwan. This is 1.5 and change. Holy shit. Yeah, for me. Wesley. 40. Wesley. You are no champion. 70. 70. You have more heart than anyone here. One, two, three. You okay, Wes? 784, five. Seven. Wesley is shaking. He just lost a three million dollar pot here on Hustler Casino Live. You know, I thought you uh, just count it. I thought you had aces, Tom. They were still in the blender, not queens. I would snap it. Oh my God! What a call, Tom. It's a flip. Tom, what a call, Tom. It was a flip. Oh, I can't bluff Tom. He said, I can't bluff him. <laughs> <laughs> he tried, I mean, a lot of heart. Oh my. He won't be calling you a nit on the internet now, that's for sure. Yeah, if anyone calls Wesley a nit ever again, I'll fight them. Yeah. 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 We, we should. Uh, Dude, you know what the toughest spot there? Let's Doug. Let's let's Doug looks so fucking hard. I tried to not look at him. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you noticed. I, I noticed that. I, I, it's I, different if Wesley calls the clock, I'm staring at Doug. But since he didn't, I tried to not look at him. I thought you You didn't give anything away either. I just, I was No, I tried to look at you zero. I don't think you looked at him at all, really. I mean, I thought looked at Doug. The pre-flop was fair to think about, but not, you know. Wow. Nice call. Can I have a beer? Get, get that man a beer. Can somebody get me a beer? Tom DeMond, you're up back. What the fuck I thought was going on. We need to stop showing each other our cards when we play versus Tom. For mm -hmm. now on, <laughs> one to a hand. I, I, I said I owe you one. You Remember? did? Yeah. I know, you did, you did. 
Can you know beer? I saw your current sweep up, right? Yeah. Just give me a beer. I need a fucking beer, Corona, too. whatever. Two Coronas. <laughs> Three. Three. You know what? Make it like a bunch. I'll take yeah. <laughs> Somebody give that man a bunch of beers. Fuck, I can't even take it. I can't I'll breathe. On. The king of Boca. We have just you witnessed know, history well, here at Hustle Casino Live. Most importantly, the biggest pot in the, in the history of televised poker. Over $3 million. $3 million pot. And of course, Tom Dwan is part of it. He is now up $2.1 million. Wesley down $1.7 million. This leaderboard brought to you by Only Poker. Televised poker history. No, I think wow. Paul still has a beat when he like fucking snapped me no, off with aces. Hey, over three. How are you we're doing, Tom? To cheers. Yeah, we're supposed to cheers. <laughs> That's cheers to you for winning that huge hand. Uh, are you feeling pretty good, or is this just like hashtag standard for you? No, it's obviously not standard. I called off 1,500 big fines with one pair. <laughs> it's obviously nowhere near a sander. And that was against Wesley, right? Yeah. Uh, is he pretty tilted right now, or what are you getting from him? I, I wouldn't say that. Uh... Oh, you got... <laughs> I'm sorry, these interviews are just out of control right now. Where'd you fly in from? I know you came a long way to come play here. Monaco. Uh, I went to... My buddy asked me to go with him to, to F1. And... Uh... It was pretty neat. I'm not much of an F1 fan, but they had like a insane setup, so you could see so much of the yes, race. Yes, yes. I actually told them I was gonna wear their t-shirt. I have like no business affiliation, whatever. I was like, I'll just wear your t-shirt to be nice because F1 was so sick. They didn't get me a t-shirt in time. Oh my god. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna feel a little bad. I so think why'd you fly out here for this race. game? I like Hustler. I like, I don't know Ryan and Nick super well, but I like them. You and I talked after, you know, there was a crazy hand back in the day. When the money's real big and like the stakes are big and stuff, people aren't perfect, but I thought they tried. And I respected that. I think you did also. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Ryan sent me the lineups. I thought it was one day of games, right? Then he sent me the lineups. It's five days. I was like, oh, I'll try to whatever. And he's like, come on, like, try to. And so I thought I was going to get to play two days. I was like, all right, I'm, whatever, like, let's do it. Um, you know, I was kind of happy to support, hoping to win a little money and knowing I might lose some. And ends up so far, hopefully it's gone all right. I, don't, I mean, I hope I don't lose back 2,000 big blinds in three hours or whatever, but we'll see. Well, we've got Tom Dwan in a good mood and winning lots of money, so cheers to you, Tom. And, oh, uh, and uh, while I like Hustler, I'm gonna shit on their beer service. I played the biggest, biggest pot outside of Triton, maybe biggest overall TV, and it takes like 15 minutes to get a beer. We'll try, we'll try to get beer to you on a regular basis, Tom, no. okay? Maybe just leave like two extras in there when the yeah. huge game. Uh, well, I don't normally need a beer unless I call it off with 1,500 big blinds. <laughs> All right. Probably would have needed one either way. But. Well, thanks, Tom. There, every pot, it's like three hands in a row. Every pot's like 300, 300K. Yeah, this, this is Hustler Casino Live, Tom. No, that's not normal. We played all day. Every hand this was is normal. 300K. This is normal. <laughs> West side West. West just played one of the biggest pots in history. How much is the pot? I think it was about 3.1 million, a little bit over 3.1 million. 3.1 million, so which was 1.55 million? Yeah, just about, man. How, how you feeling about after that hand went down, man? Uh, I think I played perfect, and he turned his queens into a bluff catcher because I got the bases or king. But I think. Because uh, I exposed my hand like pre flop to the uh, doll pole. Mm. But I mean, Ace King, Aces the Queens are like pretty strong hand, right? I would do the same exact thing I did. Like, I saw my hand, I was three bet anyway, Aces Kings, Ace King, I was three bet anyway. Mm. And then I was show he fold and I show his hand. But I'm just kind of feel like it may affect. Uh, Tom's decision a little bit. Maybe if I don't expose my hand, maybe I can bluff it out. Like, I can success. 
How did it feel when you're bluffing the river and he's in the tank and he's thinking about calling? What's going through your mind in that kind of moment? Uh, I wish he fold and he didn't slap call, so I think I did the uh, right thing because I can't just bet, bet and give up on the river. Mm -hmm. That's not what I what I do. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what was my play. True artist, huh? Yeah, I have to do three bad runs, give him the max pressure. Right, I mean, I mean even, even he has a tail or whatever, but when I put those kind of chips in this pot, mm. those kind of stuff doesn't mean anything. Like, so much money in the pot. Like, you have to be, have some heart to do it. Like, mm. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think anybody's gonna be Even when you, like, expose your hand preflop, uh -huh. people are, like, I think you are less likely to bluff when you expose your hand, right? Right. Yeah, so I think it's fine. So you still feel locked in, ready to get back and uh, keep playing your game? I want to take a rest and yeah, take a walk and yeah, kind of upset. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think anybody can call you dead anymore, Wes, okay? No, so. I don't care if people come in late a lot. I just want to play a uh, right, right way. Right. I just want to play right? a perfect poker. Like, just, it's king, the best hand to bluff. Mm. Block aces are kings. Mm. And he has the queens, so... Because only can catch the bluff. Right. Wow. Uh, Bob must want to come hang out. We got some oh, champagne oh, for everyone. Hey. So if anybody, I just wanted to, I just want to thank you guys for being a part of tonight and this week and being a part of poker history. All of you guys, thank you so much for coming this week. It's been awesome. We're not like, stopping, right? no, 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 no. We're going all night. We're not okay. ending. I'm not We're going all night. No one's leaving. <laughs> okay. Good. Lock the doors. But seriously, thank you guys for all being a part of this. It, it's amazing. Uh, means a lot to me and Nick, and our show. And uh, yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom won two million. He doesn't care. Uh, but no, thank you very much. Uh, if you guys want champagne, let's toast, and then we'll keep playing. So thank you guys. And of course, thank all of you watching at home around the world. Combined, and they're like champagne. Guys, this has been a great yeah, fucking day. Let's get a toast to the celebration of the day. <laughs> yeah, me, Doug, and Westy are the only three that want champagne. <laughs> Everyone else is fine. I think Bob told Ryan he's only gonna play if he gets to sit on next to Tom. <laughs> like this is, dude. This this seat draw had to have been rigged. Like, not only is he next to Tom, he's next oh. to Rob too. Like, he's in between them. Like, it's You're just rigged. Pants? You're giving me yes. so much. Thanks. Sorry, sorry guys. If the seat draw was rigged, then we all get our money back, right? That's how it works. I hope so. I didn't even drew, by the way. <laughs> they drew for you. They drew for you. I never even. I never agreed to let someone draw for me. Oh. Wait, Ryan. Ryan, everyone's really thankful for your hard work around here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> no, I'd never kidding. see Ryan again. I'd be so happy. Ryan, I, I, I told Doug that I requested him especially. He, he knows now that I requested. Uh, yeah. that Doug knows I requested him especially. On you, Rob. Rob, on you. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'd like to. I'd like. To he said he requested me specifically for his game. Also, uh, for the game. For the, I'm, I'm Bob Dylan. Just, well. just tell. I think both of us. Tell Ryan. Sit open. <laughs> All right, it's on me. I'm happy to say I'm wrong. You again. Oh, I've had conversations before. Fifteen Lawrence. All right, this side of the table, you're getting a sweat. Boom, there we go. All right, we're back in the action. There's a fucking mirror, by the way. I didn't see anything, oh, but there's a mirror. <laughs> there's literally a mirror. Cheers. Cheers. It's, of course, we go live. Oh, oh there, there we go. Popping champagne on air. Popping champagne on air. Yeah, not he's bad. not the talent, obviously. Yeah, he's the director. The I just tell you what to do. Yeah. Oh, so we're cheersing to big pots, to a historic game, to big bluffs. What else are we cheersing to? To the chat pros. Thank you to the chat pros, to everybody in the chat, everybody that tuned in tonight in the last few days. It's been very historic and uh, just an, an amazing uh, few days for myself and Nick Fertucci and High Six Poker Productions. So thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, everyone upstairs. Nathan, uh, David, Mike, my dad. 
Thank you to all the players. Uh, thank you to everybody, the commentators, Sean Yapel, everybody that's been a part of this. Uh, we're not done yet. We're still going all night. We have no yeah. end time Lock in sight. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Stay in here. <laughs> Cancel your plans tomorrow. But thank you to everyone who's been a part of this. It's a dream come true for me and Nick. Uh, just growing up, like, watching poker shows with guys like Tom Dwan and and Phil Ivey and guys like that. And then to have, you know, Dwan here winning a $3 million pot, Doug Polk here. Uh, just, it, the numbers are incredible. Thank you to everybody for supporting us. And, you know, this is only the beginning.